Oh, there's a nice fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Please stay on. What's going on everybody? Nick from 608 Fishing here and I am very excited because today is the very first episode of a new series that I'm doing called the Antique Lure Challenge. Each episode will feature its own antique fishing lure that I will use in an attempt to catch a present day bass or fish, period. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are excited too. The first episode of the Antique Lure Challenge is featuring a topwater bait. So I am actually heading to an area of my local lake that has some pretty good topwater fishing. There's a deer. That's pretty cool. But uh, I'm excited to show you guys what this lure looks like. Madison actually bought me a bunch of antique lures for Christmas. So I've been dying to try these things out. The lure that I'm going to start out with today is this biggest of the ones that she gave me. And I'm assuming that it is a topwater bait. It's got this middle prop that spins. So I imagine it uh, is kind of like a whopper plopper or something like a buzz bait. I think it's gonna be pretty cool in the water. I'm excited to see what it actually looks like. All right, first cast. I thought for sure this was gonna be a topwater bait, but it uh, it's actually diving. I don't think it's performing like it's supposed to perform. So oh, this may not work out. I think I'm gonna try a different bait. This one, the action, I, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's working. All right, so I just tied on another antique lure that Madison gave me for Christmas. It's called an Oriental Wiggler, number four. I looked it up. This thing is over a hundred years old. It was originally manufactured in 1918. So I, I do not want to lose this, but I am excited to see what this looks like in the water. So this is a hundred year old lure. This is nuts. Here we go, first cast. I thought it was gonna be a floating lure, but it actually looks like it sinks. I'm thinking it's supposed to be used as a top water bait. So I'm gonna try to work it at the surface. Oh, fish on! Oh, he's off, no! Darn. I just had my first blow up and that was a nice little bass. Dang it. Hundred year old lure just had a blow up in 2019. Here we go. Oh, I just had another blow up. Dang it. Two blow ups, two blow ups. Okay, so I have to reel this pretty quickly to keep it at the surface. It, uh, it sinks, unfortunately. I don't think any of these bass have ever seen this lure in front of them. So I'm uh, pretty hopeful that I'll be able to hook up with one, but it is very cool to have blow ups on a lure that is a hundred years old. Oh, another blow up, darn. Fish on. First one. Yes. Oh my gosh. Just caught a fish on a hundred year old lure. Awesome. See you later, buddy. I'll tell you what guys, it is surreal to think about how old that lure is. That thing was made over a hundred years ago and it just caught a bass in 2019. That is, that is awesome. I was getting a little concerned. I missed three fish on the uh, top water, but I ended up slowing down my retrieve and turned it more into like a wake bait. And that was within the first couple casts. I finally caught my first bass. So that was, that was awesome. First bass of the antique lure challenge. There are some massive bass in this lake. So my goal today is to catch a big bass using this 100 year old antique fishing lure. And I think it is very much possible. I have absolutely no idea what this lure is actually supposed to imitate. I'm guessing a bait fish struggling at the surface. Either way, the fish seem to like it, but I have yet to catch another bass. Oh, fish on. Oh, it's off, darn. When I Googled this bait, I found a few for sale and they were asking about $35, $40. So I'm really hoping I don't lose this lure today.
Oh, I just had a bass chase it. No. Oh. Ooh, I had a fish. Dang it. All right, guys. So I've been fishing for a few hours today. And as much as I want to keep fishing with this top water lure, I don't think the bass are very much interested in that right now. So I'm going to switch over to a subsurface antique lure and give that a shot. Okay, I've got this antique spinner tied on. Well, that's kind of disappointing. This thing dives so deep. To keep it off the bottom, I have to reel it in very fast. I've never actually caught a fish in freshwater using a spoon, so this uh, this should be interesting. <laughs> All right, I'm switching back to the 100-year-old uh, topwater lure. Oh, oh, I just had a bass blow up on it, no. All right, guys, this is, uh, it's not looking good. Um, I've caught one fish today with this vintage lure. I'm not giving up yet, but uh, I'm starting to lose a little bit of hope. I uh, was only able to catch one fish. It did not feel right ending the first episode of the Antique Lure Challenge having only caught one fish, so I'm not done yet. I'm heading back out tonight to hopefully turn this first episode around. I made it out to the fishing spots. I brought a couple different setups. The first setup is that topwater lure that I was using on day one, but I also brought another very special lure to throw on my ultralight. And that is this antique inline spinner that belonged to my grandfather. So he was probably the last person to actually fish with this. So that is a, that's pretty cool to think about. I'm hoping that I'll be able to catch some fish and hopefully I'm not gonna lose it. That would, I'd be pretty upset if I lost this. So I'm gonna get started. All right, first cast with this spinner in God knows how many years. Here we go. I had a issue with that first lure I tried on day one. The action just was non-existent, but this thing looks like it's uh, brand new almost. Oh, there's a nice fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is the biggest sunfish I've ever hooked into. No way, please stay on. Oh my gosh. What, are you serious? This is insane. I've never, I've never caught a sunfish this big. Holy smokes. See you later, buddy. I am speechless right now, you guys. That was a monster monster sunfish and that happened to be the first fish that i caught or anyone has caught with my grandfather's old antique spinner in probably decades so that was a very cool experience i'm just blown away right now <laughs> this water is very clear and i've never seen a sunfish that big so my guess is that they are hanging off in the deeper water so i'm going to try to target uh, some of those areas and see if I can find any of his friends. Aside from that monster sunfish, I really have not caught anything else. So I am going to try one more spot on this lake, but then I'm gonna be out of time. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, catch some more fish at this spot that I'm heading to. Oh, there's a fish, fish on. Oh, it's a yellow bass. Awesome. See you later, buddy. The first episode of the Antique Lure Challenge did not exactly go as planned, but I was able to catch a bass using a 100-year-old lure, which is mind-blowing. And I caught a monster, monster sunfish using my grandfather's old vintage spinner. So I still had a lot of fun with this one. If you guys have any antique lures that you would like to suggest, and uh, see me fish with, leave it down in the comments. But I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you in the next one. It's got this middle prop that spins. So I imagine it uh, 
is kind of like a whopper popper or something like a buzz bait. I think it's gonna be pretty cool in the water. I'm excited to see what it actually looks like. Hmm. It's uh, the action is, I mean, I'm gonna try out a different bait. 